It may be Christmas Eve, but Hanukkah is still taking precedence over my corner of the internet. For I have a seventh Jewish folktale to tell. Tonight I offer you the Four Grand Ladies. And it features an actual historical person whose name I'm likely to butcher because I could not find a pronunciation guide. Apologies. The Rabbi Dovber of Meseritz. You see, before the rabbi became the famed holy man he is today, he and his wife were quite poor. One winter's night, the rabbi's wife was on her way to the bathhouse. She'd just finished up her monthly curse, and so it was time for her monthly mikvah, a ritual bath for purification that still has its uses today in Jewish culture, though not so much for period purity these days. I gotta say, though, I love a folktale that features menstrual health. The rabbi's wife was battling a snowstorm on her journey, so she didn't get to the bathhouse until very late when they were starting to close up for the night. The woman knocked, but was refused entry by the very rude attendant. Apparently, the doorman didn't want to make a special case for a pauper. The rabbi's wife held her ground, though. She knocked and knocked and knocked. Even as the snow pummeled her and the hours ticked by, it was nearly midnight when the woman's knocking was paused by the jingling of sleigh bells and the sound of hoofbeats. A stunning carriage pulled up at the bathhouse door, and four gorgeous, classy women stepped out of it. Suddenly, the attendant at the door was all smiles, ushering in the grand dames. But the last lady stopped him before he could close the door on the rabbi's wife. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, she's with us! And not only did they invite her to bathe with them, they gave her a ride home in their fancy coach. When they arrived at her modest home, the rabbi's wife stepped outside the carriage, then turned around to thank the women. But the carriage and the ladies inside it had vanished into thin air. The rabbi met his wife at the door, and she told him everything that had happened to her excitedly. The rabbi took her hands and told her in a hushed tone, My dear, I think you have just bathed with Leah, Rachel, Sarah, and Rebecca, the four mothers themselves. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Jewish folktales are packed with stories of women helping other women. And I f***ing love it. My source for this tale was Jewish folktales retold by Pinhas Sade. It's available on the Internet Archive. God, I love that place. And can you believe we only have one tale left in this series and maybe of the year? That'll be tomorrow night, and I'll see you then.